as you have already seen in our earlier videos that cervical amputation has reduced the length of the cervix for the girl stitch has inverted it now we are going to pull the uterus up with the help of sacrospinous ligament fixation for sacrospinous ligament fixation we start dissecting on the posterior aspect of vaginal wall until we feel the skill spine there once we have felt it start rolling your fingers from lateral to medial in order to create the space try to palpate the sacrospinous ligament here once you are sure of your dissection put three long bladed retractors the superior retractor here retracts the rectum superiorly the medial one retracts it medially and the lateral retractor which is a straight retractor retracts the vaginal wall as well as the coccygeus muscle with the help of a 10 mm laparoscope we visualize sacrospinous ligament on the monitor this is the monitor view as you can see sacrospinous ligament is seen as a white band going from medial to lateral end with this anchoring device we put a suture which is 2 cm lateral to the skill spine and the next suture will be put 1 cm medial to it both the sutures we take of different colors the lateral one is the ethebond and the medial one is vicral both are number 1 after taking the two bites we are sure that we have held the sacrospinous ligament nicely and the retractors need to come out now as is the laparoscope keep a gauze piece there for some time with pressure to control venous ooze if any now these two sutures we hold one with a straight artery the another one with a curved artery so there are two ways of differentiation one is the color one is the shape of the artery which is holding it to the drape with the needle which is on one of the end of these sutures is used then to fix these sutures to the cervix we take a thick bite of cervix without entering the cervical canal remember it from the thick stroma of the cervix we go medial suture which was purple in color or vicral goes medially green suture which is ethebon goes laterally you need to have good needle holders which do not turn when you are going through a thick tissue your assistant can be of great help if the needle holder is not good now as you can understand the sutures one bite is from the sacrospinous ligament and the other bite is from the lateral surface of the cervix we will tie these sutures at the end of the surgery because if we tie it now the entire uterus will be pulled up and we will not be able to do the further steps so keep watching we'll be showing stumped off suturing in the next video